Now I'm not gonna show what shop this is, but um, they already overheated this motor once and they ran out of coolant because he doesn't know about the air purging. They didn't use vacuum. Uh, the technician wa walked away. This, this vehicle is actually going into overheat right now. I'm about to tell him. Uh, he just added coolant, but all the coolant is up here and there's tons of air in all the heater hoses and stuff like that. Because again, the owner of the shop doesn't know how to train his employees because the owner is clueless and out. And they got rid of all their higher paid technicians who were very high and had, you know, 10, 15, 20 years experience. And they hired in all these, and let me go shut this thing off. Um, they went and hired a whole bunch of young guys who, you know, of, let's say the lower skill level, lower class level, and uh, I can communicate with some of them, try to get the point across. But yeah, this is an unfortunate fact, and I see this all the time, and this is not water. I mean, this is not coolant inside there. They ran out of coolant, so they used tap water. Uh, this vehicle is nine months old, a year and nine months, oh, shit, nine months old, a year and nine months, um, and they use tap water. So this vehicle is fully under warranty, brand new vehicle. We're talking about a $40,000 vehicle here. And uh, what do you think is going to happen to this heater core or the freeze plugs or the radiator or anything when you uh, use tap water? You know, the reason it's purple that's or uh, pink, that's the remainder of the coolant that was in the system. But basically, he brought out gallons of water out here and just filled it up. And I confronted him. I go, water? Are you serious? And he looked at me and he goes, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this shit goes on daily across the country. And you wonder why shit breaks down. Well, as mechanical shops and mechanics, we got to love body shops. They make so much work for us. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Think about it.